This video will show you how to create roofing for your log cabin. Start by opening a new part document. Click on the front plane and pick Sketch. And in the Sketch tab, choose the Line tool. Draw a parallelogram as shown. Click OK when you are done to exit out of the line tool. While holding the control key, click on the two horizontal lines and give them an equal relation. Also set them parallel to each other and add a horizontal relation if they are not horizontal. Control click on the two slanted lines and also choose the parallel relation and equal relations. Click on Smart Dimension to give the top edge a dimension of 28. Click on the top line and the bottom line and enter a dimension of 10. Click on the diagonal line and the top line. Give this a dimension of 120 degrees for the angle between them. Then exit the sketch. In the Features tab, click on Extruded Bar Space. Enter a depth of 120 and choose Midplane for the end condition. Click OK. Right click on Material and Edit Material. Scroll down to find Oak. Apply this material and then close this window. Go to the top view. Click on the top surface and pick Sketch. Go to the Sketch tab. Choose the Circle tool and draw two circles as shown. Click OK to exit out of the Circle tool. While holding the Control key, click on the two circles. Set them equal to one another. Click on the middle of each circle while holding the control key and add a vertical relation. Go to Smart Dimension and give the top circle a diameter of 5. Click on the point at the center of the circle and the top edge. Enter a dimension of 20 for the distance between them. Do the same thing with the bottom circle and the bottom edge. Right click and click on select to exit out of smart dimension. Go to the centerline tool. Draw a centerline as shown. Then click on the line twice to exit out of the centerline tool. Click on the top point of the center line and the top edge. Add a midpoint relation. Click on the center of the top circle and drag it onto the center line to add a coincident relation. Exit out of the sketch. Go to the Features tab and click on Extruded Cut. Pick through all for the end condition. Click OK. You can give this part a color by right clicking on the part's name and then clicking on this multicolored sphere. Click on Part 2. Check the box for color and give it a red color. Click OK to apply this color. Then save the part. Afterwards, double click on the part. This dimension is the length which is extruded. Change this length to 200. 
We build the part. Then choose Save As to save this part as another name. Once you have done that, right click on the first boss extrude feature and choose Edit Feature. Change this dimension to 280 and click OK. Save this as another name. Then you are finished creating roofing parts.